Hello, how are you? Last video, we learned how to find mean, median, standard deviation, and variance manually step by step. Now, this video, we are going to use TI30XS multi view calculator. If you know how to use it and you want to check the answer, you can pause the video or you want to do it manually. Yes, you can pause the video and you check the answer later on when we go over it. Okay, so let's just start. So we have a data set given as this number, which is, you know, data set, one data set, which is maybe I can say under X. Now they ask us to find the mean, median, standard deviation, which is the notation is S and variance, which you square the standard deviation, that's a variance. Now let's start. So I'm gonna type this data in. So where I'm gonna type it, I'm gonna phrase the data. Okay, I'm gonna phrase the data. Then I'm going to press 3, enter, 5, enter, 6, enter, 20, enter, 0, enter, 19, enter, 18, enter, 30, enter. So I finish all my data. Notice that this one is saying ninth number. So we have eight number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's it, we have eight number, okay? So we, this one prompt you for another number, which is ninth, so we don't need another one. Okay, now look, we are looking for data, statistics, okay? So look at that color of the, you see this color? Has the same color. So if this color is not white, of course, this one, right? You see it's matching color. So we press the second first, and one of my video actually shows how to use the calculator for statistics, so you can check that out also quickly. So press second, data, enter. When you enter, you see your data is stored in under the L1, okay? So make sure your L1 is solid. So you enter again. Now look, it's solid. Now, how many variable you have? How many frequency? We have only one data set, so it's one, with, so one. Now, of course, you calculate, continue. Now, here you go, it's beautiful. All the result or answer is there out there waiting for you okay guys so here you go mean is sometimes arithmetic mean because it's number but in statistical point of view we say x bar which is the sample mean which is sample mean so if you look into number two number two oh by the way look at number one is eight data we have okay so you can check out double check always and number two is the x bar which is 12.63 i'm going to round up to the 100 remember you're going to look your problem your instructor from you know what direction is given to you is it given to 100 place thousand place if you are doing any homework on my math lab or web assign or any kind of online tools pearson okay any sanges alex anything you want to do right so you do any kind of online platform homework make sure you you know learn how to round up otherwise even though your answer is right you're not going to get point okay so 12.63 i'm going to write down in this case which is approximately okay approximately 12.63 okay that's my mean now next one is median well where do you find the median so you have to scroll down a little bit here okay we scroll down a little bit and I clearly see number eight and no, number nine is the median, okay, which is 12. So it's exactly 12, exactly 12. So we put down equal sign, okay, we write down equal sign. Now next one is standard deviation, which is sample standard deviation. It's represent S represents sample standard deviation. So we have to look for S sub X. So where is the S in this? Calculator, yeah, S is here, S sub X. That's a sample standard deviation for those X data set, okay? So we have 10.555, so many number, of course, obviously, you're not gonna write all those numbers, we're gonna do approximation here. We're gonna have 10.56, that's nice enough, okay? That's a standard deviation. Now, if you are looking for a population standard deviation, population standard deviation, you look for number four, that's the population standard deviation, okay? So, which is 9.87. You see the difference between them. One, we subtract one. We don't subtract this one because that's everything. This one is not everything, okay? 
Let's go with the variance. Look at here. Variance, which is sample variance, standard deviation is S. Now, sample variance has S squared. So, guess what? You just square it. Okay? You just square it. Okay? It's a 5, 6 I meant here. Okay? So, I'm going to use the calculator actually. I'm going to clear it. Okay? Clear everything. So, 10 or you can just second 0 number 2. 10.56 square it. Enter. We clearly see 111.51 and notice that i hope you understand why i put down approximation because we're rounding up so that's approximation okay so i hope you have some kind of intuition already to solve the next one okay so this is the next data set i have and you want to do it for pause it you want to pause the you know video and you want to do it and check the answers you can do it i'm going to erase second zero number two memory cleared now this one i have to be very careful especially especially this one here okay especially this one here why because that one is negative 67 so i want to make sure i type it correct way okay so i'm going to type the number in this time we have a little bit bigger number of course we have to be ready for any situation right enter 55 enter 66 enter 21 enter negative 67 enter 91 enter 15 enter 29 enter now we're done now we do second data enter bunch of time until you calculate so now you see is ready answer is ready well before i even do that right please i want to do it one more time unless i made a mistake okay so i'm going to check out one more time i'm going to go with the data okay i'm going to go with the data of course i, I clear it and data all well, you have recorded whatever you have right i want to double check it right so data 21 no i'm sorry it's 19 19 enter 55 enter 66 enter 21 enter negative 67 enter 91 enter 15 enter 29 enter second data enter 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 very good i think we have a correct answers so now we're going to write down i hope you check your answers now we're going to have our answer here so i'll check this out for okay check it checking it out so i'm going to have this one here okay all right so mean is the number two which is 28.625 so we're going to do approximately 28.56 sorry 62 i meant 62 28.60 2 and we add 1 which is 63 because next number is 5. Next one we look for median. Here you go. So what is the median? Median is 25 equal to 25. Okay. Then you go for standard deviation. What is that? That's what is the standard deviation. 47.00. Approximately 47.00. Then definitely for the variance, you're going to square it 47 square. Enter. Oh, sorry. You see, you have to clear it. So we're going to go second, zero, number two, and everything is gone. Now you can do 47 square. Enter. So that is basically, we're going to say also approximately 22. 
and if there is any unit you put down the unit otherwise it's fine so i hope you like the video thank you very very much